Well, welcome to Tales from SYL Ranch, news and commentary from the heartland. And I'm Bill Stone. I needed to make just a few words here about last night when I watched The Orville and then Star Trek Discovery, because I watched them in that order. The Orville was a real fun little episode. You know, my, my longtime viewers know that one of my big interests is science fiction and uh, that I have been occasionally quite a lot actually done reviews of Star Trek Discovery and The Orville. You know, I watch The Orville. Usually I do real in-depth ones. I'm not going to do that today. This is just a few words off the top of my head. I watched these two episodes last night, right? Oh, my God. You know, The Orville, that was great. That was great. The Orville was, as always, The Orville is real Star Trek. Star Trek Discovery is not. But I'm watching, and, you know, the herbal was great. I, I, you know, if you watch some of my reviews, I did predict that this thing would be happening, uh, you know, with the two people there. I did kind of predict that. But I liked the way they did it. I liked the way they did it. I thought that was done well. And then I watched Discovery, and I was just like, God, there is just no joy in this show. There is no joy whatsoever. I, I walked away from it last night, and I really did, you know, I'm just about done with this show. I am about done with it. You know, even though I'm a lifelong Star Trek fan, and I'm old enough to have watched the original series when it first aired on NBC in the 1960s, and have watched it religiously ever since, even the stuff I didn't like, this has reached a whole new level. They have taken Star Trek from its roots as a hopeful program, something that showed us a positive view of the future, frankly, to something that is, it's, 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 it's a horror show. I mean, it's just like a horror movie. And you can't walk away from this with feeling any level of good. You know, I couldn't walk away from that last night and thinking anything good about it. I walked away from it kind of queasy to my stomach, to be perfectly honest. You know, it's one thing when they've gone all dark, but geez, God, the severed heads, the severed heads. I mean, admittedly, yeah, they weren't real the, from the real people, but um, they were apparently genetically engineered to look exactly like them. I, the severed heads. I mean, it was bad enough, you know, having the one of, uh, of the adult. But that baby. I mean, I, that was all I could. I, I just like, I, I can barely watch this. I, I wanted to just turn it off. I have two kids and the whole notion of decapitating an infant. This show has gone full Al-Qaeda. I mean, watching this is like watching, trying to watch an Al-Qaeda beheading video, which I never do, by the way. I can't stand to watch this stuff. And by the way, if you do, if you're watching this stuff, if you can actually stand to watch it, that is some pretty sick stuff. That is some pretty sick stuff. And if, if you, you know, and last night, if you're watching that episode and you actually liked seeing these decapitated heads, especially that infant's head, you got something wrong with you. I'm serious. You got some serious problem. If you actually liked watching that, it was terrifying how bad it was. It's just awful. And and again, I walked away. You can't walk away feeling like any level of joy out of this. It's just dark and disgusting. You know, the Klingons and the heads and just everything. Just everything. And the only thing that I got a quick laugh out of was the uh, trailer for next week when that thing that they pulled out of Tilly... It could only remind me of The Blob, the 1950s movie, The Blob. It looked like The Blob taking her over. But no doubt it'll be horrifying and disgusting. Now let me explain why this is. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Hollywood, California. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. It is a place where horrible people do horrible things to other horrible people all day long. You cannot count on a handshake and rape and child molestation rule the day. And if that's the only world that you know, if that is your whole life, then it's the only thing you can create. If horror is all you know, horror is the only thing you can create. And that's what they've done here. They have taken Star Trek, which was always an upbeat, positive show with a positive message of the future showing us, hey, we're going to make it and it's going to be awesome when we get there. Now it's just a horror movie that has gone full Al-Qaeda. 
No, don't go full Al-Qaeda. Al -Qaeda. Never go full Al-Qaeda. You know, they've gone full Al-Qaeda. And it was, frankly, disgusting to me, and it should have been disgusting to you. This should, have been a, this should be a tipping point where if you've got a subscription to CBS All Access, cancel it right now. If you're watching it for this program, cancel the fracking thing. Just cancel it. It's terrible and it's awful and it's rotten and horrible. I, I, I am seriously considered never watching this show ever again. Never thought I'd say that about any Star Trek program, but this one last night, going full Al-Qaeda, especially as it was coming after the Orville, which was a nice little episode. It was a nice little romantic episode where something that I predicted came out well. They did it well. It was executed well. And now we have this, decapitations and blood and gore and, the, and somebody's intestines laying on the ground. Guys... You have screwed the pooch royally. I am dead certain, dead certain, that Gene Roddenberry is flipping over in his grave at warp speed. This is nothing like his vision of the future. I don't necessarily agree with his politics or some of the stuff he did, but by God, you know, he was showing us a vision of the future that I'd actually want to live in. This vision of the future, I do not want to live in. I want to be gone from it. I want to be so far gone that I may never watch another episode of Discovery, and I hope that you don't either. It was awful. It was just awful. And it was a, it was a complete contrast between Orville. Orville was showing us something nice, and then we, I went over and watched this, and it was just... Oh, it was horror and disgusting and full Al-Qaeda. And Star Trek should never go there. Star Trek should never go full Al-Qaeda. It was horrible. Cancel your CBS All Access right now. It's a terrible, terrible show. If they're showing you decapitations, just, ah, especially an infant. If that doesn't disgust you, there is something seriously wrong with you. Anyway, that's really all I have to say about it. It's horrible, it was awful, it was terrible, it was rotten. They have taken Star Trek from something that is hopeful and turned it into a fracking horror story. Just a horror story. I guess that's all I got to say about that today. So if you like what I'm doing, please like, sub, hit the notification bell, and uh, tell all your friends, family, neighbors, pets, and livestock to do the same. And if you want to support me, there are links in my description box below to my subscribe star and my PayPal chip jar, as well as a page on my website where you can find other ways to support me if you want to. That is horrible. Just awful. Just awful. I mean, I don't even know how to end this episode on a good note. It was full Al-Qaeda. Never go full Al-Qaeda. So I guess that's it for Tales from SYL Ranch, news and a commentary from the heartland. And I'm Bill Stone. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.